Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about installing FFmpeg on Windows, and I'll put a link in the description of that video, and that's a prerequisite for this video. In this video, we're going to create a shortcut on our desktop to open up a TV stream that is on an HD home run. So if I double click on this file here, it'll open up a terminal, and then in just a second here, it'll open up a TV stream. So here we have a TV stream. I'll hit escape to get out of there or you can hit Q. So I'm going to talk about how to uh, set one of these quick links up. So I have an HD home run here and I'll put a link in the description of this on Amazon and if you purchase one through my link it'll help me out a bit and it doesn't cost you anything extra. And if you go to the IP address of your HD home run and go to channel lineup you'll see a list of channels here. So so far I have this 5.1 channel set up. I'm going to set another one up from scratch and then I'll show you how you can kind of set them up a little bit quicker. So to do that, I'm gonna start off by going to Notepad. So I'll hit the Windows button and I'll type in Note. And Notepad will come up here, I'll open it. I'll go up to File and I'll say Save As. And I'll go down to Save As, type All Files. And I'll type in 8.1 and CBS, because that's the CBS station where I live. And I'll type .bat, because this is a batch file. And I'll hit Save. And now I'll type in FF play space dash I space. And then I'll come back over here to the HD home run. And I'll hover over this 8.1 here. And I'll right click and I'll say copy link. And I'll take that and I'll type quote. And I'll paste that in. And then an end quote. And then I'll type space. And I'll type AC space 2. And what this is doing is this is saying use two audio channels. Sometimes you'll have things that have a surround sound, they'll have 5.1 surround. And if you're on like a laptop or a computer that only has stereo speakers, um, you may not hear the right channels, so it may not sound right. So you do AC2, will um, downsize it into stereo. So, um, and now if these channels are interlaced, which is often the case, you can type in dash VF, which is a video filter, and then space, and then quote, and then Y-A-D-I-F, which is yet another deinterlacer. Um, and then hit another quote to close that. And then if you want this to open up full screen, when you double click, you can type space dash FS for full screen. So once you have this in, you can say file, save, and at this point you should be able to double click on this. And it will open up the video stream. And here we go, we have the stream. Now I'll hit Q to close it. So some other things you can do here is if you uh, go back to your HD Home Run menu, you just click HD Home Run at the top. If you have an HD Home Run Extend, you can click on Transcode figure Configuration here, and you'll see this default transcode profile. It says None Right Now. So you can change this for all the time on your HD Home Run or you can do it um, on a stream by stream basis. So if you wanna change it all the time, you just select what you want, like heavy or mobile. But say we want a smaller um, video, and, you know, better streaming on a network that's not so good. Um, we'll choose this internet 480 here. So this is essentially like 480p video. So I'll leave this at none, but I'll go back in here. And after 8.1, I'll type in question mark and I'll type transcode equals internet 480. Did I spell that right? Yes. Okay, so now if I save this file, I can come down here and double click on this and it will open up a smaller, well, we're doing full screen, so we'll, we'll enlarge it. Um, but it'll, this is a 480p, so this is a smaller stream. I can hit the F button to drop it down from full screen. So now I have this. I can hit Q to quit. So if we were to take this down to, I think 240 is the smallest here. And we'll save that. And we'll double click this. Selection. 
So now we have a smaller screen. So you could have this running in the corner of your uh, computer, say, while you're doing some work or something. And it's, yeah, I mean, you can scale this window yourself, but if you're going to watch a small screen, it may make more sense to transcode it into a smaller video. So now that we have this, we can go down here and we can copy this and we can paste it and then right click on it and say rename. And I'll say 13.1 NBC. And then you can right click on this and then you want to choose edit as opposed to open. And I just have to go in here and change the number. Oops. The number here. Because as you see on these channels, the numbers just change if you look at the, down here at the bottom of the browser window. When you choose a different channel, it just changes this number. So if I want 13.1, I'll save that. Oops. And now I have the NBC channel in my area. Happy campers there. Uh, I guess he's got a chance to show off those calves. But. Got so you could set one of these up for every channel, or just the channels. Like if you like to watch the the noon a uh, newscast, you can you know set up for whatever channel you want, and then when you're ready to watch it, you can just double click it, and when you're done, you hit Q and it's gone. Um, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I will put um, this command down here down probably in the comments or description, one of the two. And but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.